We're out here at the Arlington Archosaur site, um, excavating dinosaurs and prehistoric crocodiles and turtles. Uh, we have uh, faculty and students from UT Arlington, as well as volunteers from all across the North Texas community, helping us with the excavation. The turtle that we're excavating today is likely a new species of turtle uh, because nothing has been named uh, from the Woodbine Formation in uh, all these years that people have been looking at it. Uh, 100 million years ago, Arlington was part of a Mississippi-style delta. It was a swamp land, and that's why we're finding dinosaurs and crocodiles out here. Up until now, we've only found bits and pieces of turtle. Uh, part of that is because it looks like the turtle was one of the prey items of our prehistoric crocodiles. Uh, so they're bitten, they're broken, they're all tore apart. This is the first one that looks like it's a survivor of one of these prehistoric crocodiles. Another aspect of the Arlington Arkansas site that is so important and uh, special is its location in an urban environment. Okay, let's walk this way. This is a, a sign of kind of a, a charcoal and a wood mix that would have flowed down from some of the small uh, streams. The fossils that we're excavating from here and taking back to UT Arlington are rare, they're unique, they're one of a kind, and literally it's putting UT Arlington and the city of Arlington on the map. Most dinosaur digs are very remote, they're far away from uh, cities and communities. The Arlington Arkansas site is right in the middle of a major metropolitan area, and anybody that's part of the community that wants to come out and see this and experience it and learn about the local geology, they can, and that, that is really wonderful. So everything that comes out of the Arlington Arkansas site, everything that's coming out of the excavation, first comes here to be stored uh, in these little boxes and all these little foil wrapped packages that I like to call the baked potato collection because it looks like we have all these baked potatoes here at UTA. But all this stuff is just waiting to be worked on by UTA students and my volunteers. All these numbers you see on the, the boxes are related to map grids where all this stuff was uh, mapped before removed from the site. Relatively little is known about the Woodbine Formation and its fauna. Uh, this turtle that we pulled out just a few weeks ago is more than likely a new species for the simple reason that nothing has been found or published in the scientific literature at least on turtles from these sediments from this time frame. So it's more like with some new type of turtle that we have sitting here on the table. Uh, a lot of the animals uh, that my volunteers are working on are crocodile and dinosaur that also likely belong uh, to new species that are being researched right here at UT Arlington.